Hey everyone, so this B5 reboot vlog is going to cover some recent news that you probably have seen. It's definitely been getting out there since it's been announced uh, in that it's going to be a little bit longer before we actually see anything from the B5 reboot. A friend of mine actually sent me the link uh, on the day it came out and um, you know it, it all revolves around this sale of the CW network that had come up about a month or so ago and the, um, the impact that that will have being that it's a list of um, shows that are being picked up during that transition has been released and Babylon 5 uh, was not among them. In uh, a fairly long statement on his Patreon uh, page, that, uh, but freely available to everybody, uh, JMS stated uh, that this was, uh, this was the case. Uh, and he says, when a pilot script is not picked up to production, 99.999% of the time, that means the, uh, that's the end of the road for the project. The script is dead. However, uh, he had received a call from Mark Pedowitz, uh, who's the president of the CW shortly before the announcement. He's also a longtime fan of B5, possibly the person who may have uh, tapped JMS on the, on the shoulder to get this up and going in the first place. Anyway, uh, he has said that the pilot is a damned fine script and he's taken the unusual step of rolling the project and the pilot script into next year. That keeps Babylon 5 in active development uh, while all the dust settles with the sale of the network. So JMS says, here's the bottom line. Yesterday, Babylon 5 was in active development at CW and Warner Brothers for fall 2022. Today, Babylon 5 is in active development at the CW and Warner Brothers for fall 2023. That's the only difference uh, he goes on to say it would be great if it could have got a green light, but um, you know, it just means we'll have to wait a little longer. The project is very much alive, and when the time is appropriate, that window will give Babylon 5 fans the opportunity to express their passionate support for the series to the new owners of the CW. Uh, he also notes that the road to ba Babylon 5 has never been easy, but the good news to come out of today is that the road is still very much intact. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. It's... Um, you know, it, it, it does delay things a bit for us and it means that we're going to have to wait a little longer. But if it's still coming along, that still gives us something to look forward to. Um, I don't know if this means that JMS gets an extra year to work on the project. More likely he'll go to work on other things instead. But, you know, this is an extra year that he may be able to put a Bible together, work on some of the story elements, build that arc, whatever he needs to do. Um, you know, come up with new ideas. Who, who knows? tweak whatever he can uh, to give us the best possible new experience when the time's right. It also gives us, the fans, a lot of time to make some noise about um, anticipating the new show, if that can be quantified in any way to the execs at the CW, who knows. But um, yeah, so look, we got to wait a bit and this is similar across most things at the moment uh, as well. Um, just touching on other sci-fi, you know, the Orville's been put back three months. Um, we've had to wait a, quite a while for a lot of other um, sci-fi installments. This is a project that, you know, that I guess there still is that question mark. Will we see the B5 reboot? There could be doubt um, if the, you know, um, even next year, you know, we, we nothing solid has happened yet. <laughs> it's funny, I just made a new playlist to put all the B5 reboot vlogs into. And it seems like now the news might be drying up just a tad. But we'll see. I'll keep, I'll keep reading. I'll keep my eyes and ears out for any new info and present it when it seems interesting or the right time to. And I mean, I'm a Babylon 5 fan, so any new Babylon 5 stuff that comes my way, I'll talk about on the vlog here as well. Thanks to everybody who's joined up and watched my videos so far. They're pretty low quality, but I'm glad you're finding them interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're finding me. Uh, oh yeah, one last note for those on Instagram. JMS did promote that he is actually on Instagram as well, and his uh, handle at the moment is Becoming Superman JMS. Um, I've just followed him, and uh, yeah, maybe you should as well. <laughs> um, that'll be it for now. I am looking forward to talking more Babylon 5 in the future, so it will be coming. And uh, yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed that the reboot will continue and that we'll still get some news about it. Maybe JMS will um, give us some info. Who knows? Um, but another year that does line it up with the 30th anniversary from when The Gathering aired back in 1993. So um, yeah. let's stay positive. Uh, I think I've said that 
quite a few times already. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, what are your thoughts? Where are you still looking forward to it? Are you just going to believe it when you see it? Uh, let me know. Let's have a chat. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a bunch. Bye.